I'm curling pipes as you can see. Well, as you hopefully can see, I'm not sure how well this lighting is going to be good going in here. But there, I've lined out the cupboard. I've took the shelf down. I've lined it right up to the top. So when I put the ceiling panel back in, it covers over the edge of the carpet. Because as I've said to you before, the edge of the carpet doesn't cut very straight. It's anything a bit fluffy around the edges. I mean, I used five Stanley blades to cut that. I had to keep changing them because they went blunt so quick. So what I've done is cut myself a bottom panel, literally out of cardboard, covered it in carpet. The reason I did that is because it, I went to make a cardboard template, found out that the flap from this particular box was exactly the same size as the bottom of the shelf. So I stuck a bit of carpet on it. Job done. Can still be pulled out. It's not a big piece of wood, so it's quite pliable. Neatens all the edges up. One carpeted cupboard. You don't have to be flash, a bit of cardboard. Doesn't make any difference, does it really, at the end of the day. Once it's in there, all it's gonna have is me, me underpants and my socks sitting on top of it. And I'm pretty sure me underpants won't mind sitting on a cardboard base and I know damn well my socks won't because they put up with my feet every day so they'll put up a bit of cardboard. If you get glue over spray, I find the best thing to do is let it dry for a couple of days or just let it dry overnight then come back and brush it off. But you've got to let it dry that way it just crumbles off. But I hope you'll agree that's a much nicer looking cupboard. Right then, right then, there's the first shelf in and carpeted. I'll show you well you can see that lightning is not the best, I know. Um, all it is, another piece of this UPVC, it was the shelf that was in there before, I've lowered it down, carpeted it. Underneath I've got them corner blocks, holding it up, nothing fancy. What I'm going to do for the corner blocks is, just so they don't stand out quite so much, I'm blackening in the covers that clip onto them. Not doing anything fancy, let's turn the torch off, let's see if I can do this, I'm never going to be able to do this with one hand. Ah, uh, the old YouTube staple, this isn't easy with one hand. All I'm doing is, let's have a look, I've got no idea if I'm focusing in on this or not. I don't even know if you can see that, but what I'm going to do, is just colour it in with a black pen. You can spray it, spray it black if you want. You can paint it black with a black paintbrush if you want. It just so happens that in the scrap I found a load of uh, permanent black marker pens. And not being one to uh, grab a lift from a gift horse. I just colour them in black like that so they look a bit better I'm not, I don't even know if these are going to show up but there you go they look black because they are black alright so let's have a look this is what they look like beforehand quite easily seen and that's what they look like afterwards can't see it at all I turn the torch on you can obviously see it but without the torch on you can see that one you can't see that one may not be professional but it works and it costs bugger all which is my favorite price tell peeps